it, we all have that same moment because we all lived it kind of as a community together a year ago this morning. We all kind of had a sense of what it felt like, but Tommy Clark was one of the first, uh, f the first reporter out there on the scene a year ago this morning. You were just across the street with that police car in the distance as it was a piece of evidence. Just describe what it felt like to be out there that, that morning. Really, Eric, is something I will never forget. The emotions were so high and we had no idea what was about to unfold that day. We were there live for more than 13 hours straight as the entire day unfolded and emotions were high. We were scared, worried, not quite sure what was going on and we weren't alone. I remember photographer Zachary Hayes and I ca got called in just after one in the morning after our morning team heard on the police scanner two words officer down. Several shots heard at 70th and Aurora, 70th and Aurora, possible officer down. Two police officers have been shot and killed this morning. We're just a few hours into this. It doesn't look like there was any interaction between these officers and, and whoever the coward is that shot him while they sat in their cars. We've received word in the last half an hour that a suspect has now been arrested in this case. Uh, Scott Michael Green was taken into custody. I won't try to reason and make sense of this. This was calculated murder. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was cowardly in every sense of the word, from the way it was carried out to the way it ended. And I want you to go home to your family because I want my dad to come home to me and I want my friends to come home to me. And I'm sorry. And I'm here for you all. I don't know how, how else to help. Your prayers are all with you. Such an emotional day as you can see there and there really was this sense of worry for everyone, not only citizens, but police officers as well as they tried to track down Scott Green and finally that sense of relief as he was caught. It was scary for a while, not only for officers, but everyone around the community, but thankfully they did apprehend him not that long, not, not, not that far away. Uh, it happened mid morning when they apprehended Scott Michael Green. He was a suspect and he would have several court appearances over the upcoming year, all leading up to one no one expected. What was supposed to be a routine status hearing turned out to be a guilty sentencing in May of 2017. Green requested to waive the wait period and go straight into his sentencing hearing that day. In less than an hour, Green pleaded guilty to two counts of first degree murder and was sentenced to life without parole.